I do? OK, so in this case, obviously, guys, we have been through this before. Once we started taking coordinate points, whenever we get coordinate points here, we automatically just, just plot the points, right? Yeah. Just plot and plot, plot and graph the points, connect them, whatever. But let's get exactly what these, what this is looking like. So I go to A, which is negative 4, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, negative 2. I go to B, which is 0, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. And I go to C, which is 4, 2. <coughs> 1, 2, 3, 4, up 2. OK, would everybody agree with that rough assessment? So that's going to be one of our, that's our original image. So that's our original image. And then what they want us to do is graph the next image and determine if they are a proportion to each other. Was that it? Oh, I'm sorry, if they're similar, right? Oh, it's negative 4, 2. Oh, that's nice and help. I don't know why I was thinking of the negative. Sweet. That's going to help us out a lot. Awesome. Thank you. So it's negative 4, positive 2. Then our next image is negative 2, 1, 0, 2, and then 2, 1. And again, I'm going to label all these points. So that was F, G, and H. Would everybody agree with me? OK. Now, to show that these two are similar, that means we can create a proportion, right? And if the proportion is equal for them, then, or sorry, we can set up a proportion for um, corresponding sides. And if that proportion is equal, then we would say that we have a similar statement. Would that make sense, right? Because remember, congruency, we have to have side, 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 angle, side, angle, same size, same shape. But similarity, since we know they're not obviously the same size, that's obvious. All they have to do, though, is be the same shape. So to prove that they're the same shape, we just need to create a ratio of sides, corresponding sides, that creates a proportion. Then we cross multiply. And if that is equal, we know we have similar objects, in this case, similar triangles. So let's see. Let's just pick some corresponding sides. Now, obviously, we want to pick, we want to pick sides that are going to be easiest um, or the most easy to determine the distance for. So I automatically see this horizontal line. Whenever you see horizontal and vertical lines, that's what you're going to want to use, right? So I see this horizontal line, which would be AC. And the distance of AC is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. OK? Now, what? Well, actually, let's do this. So AC is corresponding to what side length in this triangle FGH? Uh, Elizabeth, what is AC corresponding to in this triangle? F, F to where? F to H. <coughs> Would that make sense? Now, here's where we have a problem that you guys got to start thinking about. These two sides are diagonals. So to find the distance of a diagonal, we have to apply the Distance formula, right? Now, who wants to do the distance formula? That, right? No, that, that, that distance formula. You need to do it because you're going to have to do it. But let's think about something that would be a little bit easier. Remember, if you can find horizontal and vertical lines, those are much easier because you can just count along the axes, right? Now, does anybody remember the spe there's three special segments that we could use for proportionality? We talked about this like two class periods ago. Three special segments. Remember, you don't, they're not part of the sides of the triangle. So you're going to want to make sure you guys know these, unless you guys want to do a lot of extra work. You can also use the altitude, the median, and the angle bisector. Do you guys remember that? Yes? No, you don't remember that? It was in page 89. We did the whole, whole chapter for it. So what you guys should understand is if I can find out the length of the median, or I'm sorry, the altitude, those are proportional to the side lengths as well. So you don't always have to use all the sides if you don't want to, it, as long as you have a median, an angle bisector, or a uh, altitude. Well, in this case, I can determine the altitude fairly easy, right? I can just count vertically. How that? I don't. I don't. You could also do. 
You could also do these lines if you want to, but then you have to do the distance formula. And nobody really likes doing the distance formula. So what I'm going to see, say is, then BG, which is the altitude, is to, or ABC, or PG, um, well, that's not really a point. I would say the altitude, um, we only have a line for this. Let's call this K. So I'll say is to BG as that is to GK. So again, we said this was 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So we have 8 is to 1, 2, 3, 4 as the altitude, which is 2, is to 1. Now, I could cross multiply, but do you guys already see? Are these the exact same? Yeah. So guess what? They are similar triangles. Okay. So we have similar triangles. And what else they're asking? Was it a reduction or a? Or a margin. OK. So it is a, obviously, it's a reduction. All right. And you can see that to go from here to here, it's going to be twice the size, right? So if they say a reduction, you could say a reduction by 1 half. Right? You can just refl reflect um, our, our ratio that we have here and say it would be a reduction at a scale factor of 1 half. OK? Well, that's it. That's all you guys got to do. Done. Wow. Wow, Mr. Gordon.